Hi, welcome back to Q&A. My name is Sarah Archer, and today I'm joined by Brian Mantel. Brian is the practice director for our Oracle Cloud product, and he is joining me all the way from Denver, Colorado. So, Brian, thank you so much for being on our show. Thank you, Sarah. I'm excited to talk to you all today. So, Brian, you're here today to talk about the certifications that our business analysts undergo in order to become experts in the Oracle Cloud product and space. Can you just explain those certifications to us? Yeah, and I'm excited to talk about this topic. So, um, getting the uh, our Smart for Oracle Cloud Services team certified in an Oracle Cloud was a it was a huge milestone for us. Uh, being an implementation partner, uh, we're a mobile partner for Oracle Cloud. Uh, throughout our implementations, it's it's important to understand the ins and outs of, of Oracle Cloud, how it ticks, whether it be in inventory or manufacturing. Uh, for us to be able to provide the largest benefit to our customers, uh, we've got to be able to understand not just the R Smart piece, the you know the business side, but also Oracle. So um, this started out as a, a challenge to one or two team members to see if we could go get certified, and it really just took off. So uh, once one or two got certified in in inventory. Uh, the rest of them took the challenge. And so within a couple months, we had the entire team certified. And, um, it, you know, it's, it's important, not just, you know, understanding the ins and outs, but being able to speak the language with our, with our implementation partners as well. So, um, yeah, a little bit of, about the certification. So it's broken down into functional areas within Oracle Cloud. So uh, R Smart is very important when it comes to supply chain. Uh, so any of the inventory transactions, uh, manufacturing, procurement, uh, even order management. So we actually have a few team members that have gone beyond the inventory certification and uh, some of them have two or three. Uh, I, I love the challenge that the team has, has taken on and I expect them to continue those certifications going forward. So the, um, in order to pass the exam, it requires a 65% and I'm happy to say that everybody took it once and we are now all certified. Um, and then, you know, I, I think the biggest benefit of taking on that challenge of getting certified is, is really the, the prep work that goes into it. So um, there, there's a, a certain number of questions on the exam, but the number of hours that go into learning and testing and getting into our own environments uh, is really what's gonna pay dividends. So people got into areas that maybe we wouldn't necessarily get into in our smart project, but understanding that uh, is, is definitely going to have benefits as we work through and, and partner with, a, with the SIs, with the customer. Uh, and then finally, you know, the exciting thing is once you, once you get that email that, hey, you passed your exam, uh, you get to put a nice little badge on the bottom of your email. So uh, I'm excited. You click on that, you get to see who the, what BA is certified in what, and I'm excited to see the number of um, functional areas get added to that. Wow, I can't believe you guys have to take a test and pass in order to achieve these certifications. That's amazing. Um, but in the cloud, everything is constantly changing. So how does our team stay on top of keeping current with those certifications? Yeah, good question. So um, obviously there's the day-to-day -day as, as we are uh, implementing with customers, uh, we're always having to look out for, you know, currently, 20B, 20C comes out, 20D later this year. And so uh, within implementations, um, it is important that we stay on top of things. But from a uh, certification standpoint, you know, good news and bad news is that certification does expire. So um, the team, after a couple of years, they've got to, got to go retake it. So we're kind of in a cycle right now where, uh, as I mentioned, everybody's taking the inventory certification. Uh, manufacturing is uh, has been passed by a couple team members and the rest of the team is looking to do manufacturing and so kind of as we go through that cycle it's that constant education uh, constantly proving it out during the implementations uh, and then you know in in a year or two the team will retake it so constant learning so our business analysts are certified but do we have other team members that are also doing these certifications Yes, uh, so the, the way that our, our project teams are, are structured is we have a project manager and we have business analysts. Um, business analysts can uh, be a solution architect in certain projects, uh, but with all the business analysts getting certified, uh, the project managers didn't wanna be left out. They realize they're in a lot of meetings where we're going through requirements, where you may be going through challenges and how do we address them. And so the project managers um, have also taken and passed the certification exam. Brian, it sounds like that this is really valuable for our team internally, but 
I think everybody who is watching the video right now, what they want to know is what value does this certification bring for our customers? Absolutely. So, um, you know, at our smart, we pride ourselves in being crazy for our customers, you know, going the extra mile. We, uh, most importantly, you know, we value the long-term relationships. And so um, being certified, it's, it's kind of a, gives us, as I mentioned earlier, it gives us that well-rounded um, level of knowledge, expertise. Uh, throughout an implementation, uh, the partner is going to be the key driver for the Oracle decisions and set up configuration and go live, but um, the partner will eventually leave. You know, the customer is the owner of, of the Oracle solution. Uh, the good news about an R-Smart relationship is it doesn't end. I mean, we are always working with our customers. We spend just about as much time with our live customers as we do with the ones that we're implementing currently. And so uh, a question may come up. And in fact, this comes up just about every week. Hey, we saw this is coming out in Oracle or, hey, we never implemented this. You know, I understand it may have a touch point with R-Smart. So our resources are able to get on a call with our customers and be able to speak the Oracle piece, even comes, if it comes down to actually doing some configuring, configuring and testing, um, you know, our, our customers can count on us to, to deliver that. So Brian, these certifications take our team to the next level in terms of Oracle product knowledge. How does that bring value to our partners? So uh, to be successful in an R Smart project, you know, it's a collective effort between the implementation partner on the Oracle side as well as R Smart. And so uh, as, as we work with our, uh, the implementation partners, our most successful projects are the ones where we are viewed as just a team member on the overall you know, partner team. And so if we're speaking the same language, we know the ins and outs of, of Oracle Cloud, uh, it, it allows us to be, um, you know, part of that team, we go into meetings, we're not viewed as the R smart team versus the Oracle implementers. And so um, it, it's, it's critical that we're all speaking the same language and can solve problems together. Thank you, Brian, for being on the show. It sounds like achieving these certifications is not only a point of personal pride for our team, but it's also of great value to our customers and partners as well. And I think it just takes us that next step as we work to achieve our mission to transform customers and change lives. So for those of you who are watching, if you've got questions for Brian, you can reach out um, using our email address, which is info at rfsmart.com. It'll be linked below in the video. And for all of you watching, thank you so much, Brian. Thank you for being here. And we will We'll see you all again soon. Thank you.